at CVS and at Walgreens. Uh, it's a pretty good week and I will say it was potentially a little bit better and one offer's gone. So we did have free Tresemme and Walgreens, um, but those Ibotta offers on Tresemme, they're flying. So as we go through, if you shopped earlier in the week, there that was one freebie you could have grabbed, um, but you know, it's still a great deal. So we're gonna go through the deals, and I guess that's kind of a warning, is that when you see a super great deal, sometimes it's great to go ahead and grab it. You know, don't plan on doing your drugstore shopping on Friday or Saturday and then think that all the freebies are still gonna be there. Um, it, it doesn't work that way. Now, under normal conditions, you could just get rain checks for those deals. Keep in mind, CVS rain checks, when they're issuing them, they never expire. And you will always get the rewards that would have printed today. So let's you know go back to normal world and hopefully we will someday, uh, then you could grab those rain checks. You could shop on Friday and Saturday, get all the freebies and you'd be great. Um, but we don't live in normal world right now. So waiting till the end of the week, probably not your best bet for grabbing the best deals. And, and this week's a great example that that Tresemme offers already gone. And I'll, I'll explain it in a second, but just to kind of start us off the bat, as we go through these top deals, you really want to go ahead and grab them as soon as you can. Uh, so all of these deals started Sunday. I know it's Tuesday. It's just hard to work this in uh, any earlier, but you've got all week to grab them. So we're going to jump through CVS first, and then we're going to go through Walgreens. Uh, I actually shopped both of the stores on Sunday. It's pretty rare for me to do that, but my coupons came in the mail uh, like two days early. They came on Saturday. Normally my coupons come on Monday, which is fine with me, but I went ahead and shopped. Since I had them all, why not? Um, so as we go through, I'll tell you exactly what I purchased on deals that I did purchase. Um, and you know, Justin, let me go ahead and answer your question now. Can we get rain checks for Walgreens and still get the points back? Um, no. So the rewards deals that run in Walgreens are only good that week. They will write you a rain check for the sale price, but the rain check will not issue rewards outside of this week. So not as fun as CVS uh, or Rite Aid. If you had a Rite Aid near you, their rain checks work similarly to CVS's, uh, but Walgreens do not. Um, and Dana, yeah, if you have rain checks that are, they never expire. Uh, I would hold on to them though. I don't know. So in this moment where they're not even issuing rain checks, I don't know what the store would respond to in terms of trying to redeem them. But I, I mean, technically you should be fine to do it. Just if they try to tell you no, don't throw it away. Just hold on to it until life is more normal and try again. Um, don't take it as kind of a this is their answer forever. Uh, and Rochelle, since I mentioned it, I, I get my coupons from Sunday Coupon Inserts, plural, dot com. Sunday Coupon Inserts dot com. Uh, and I have a standing order of four, which is a lot. I'm a family of seven. So if you are not a big family, I don't know that you need a standing order of four, but it does mean getting a standing order of four, meaning like four of every insert that was in the paper, um, that they come in a priority mail envelope so they come pretty fast uh, and I'm guessing they just got ahead of themselves this week normally they come on Mondays they just came on Saturday this week which was like getting Christmas in the mail okay let's start into the deals hello uh, Marie um, so to start with we do have gift card deals in both drugstores this week and if these are items that you purchase or you use you should always get the gift cards so Sling is a huge one. If you're using Sling to get football games, this is live TV. We, we have used Sling for years. We turn it on at football season start and we turn it off when football season is over. It's the only kind of live sports that we watch. But you can get a Sling gift card this week, $50 gift card, and then get back a $10 extra care buck. That's a 20% savings on Sling. So you should do this. If you're using Sling, you should do this. Uh, there are some other gift cards that are part of this promotion too. You can only get one reward. So if you decide to do Sling or you decide to do um, another one that's running the children's place, I think there's a spa one that's also running, uh, you could mix and match. So you could do like a $25 children's place and a $25 Sling. But if you got 
$100 worth, you wouldn't get a second reward. So just grab one. Remember, whatever you do grab on gift cards, uh, I cannot pay with rewards. So I have to actually pay $50 here but I will get a $10 reward back. And I'm starting with this one on purpose because this is what you would wanna do. You would wanna go in, you would want for, you know, for me it would be buy the sling um, and get the $10 reward and then use that reward to buy every other deal that you're gonna grab this week. But you wanna start with the gift card uh, and it you know gives you an instant 10 bucks towards whatever else you're gonna get. Um, so, <laughs> Oh, and Rose is chiming in on Sling, on Sling too. She says they've used it forever between that and Netflix and Amazon. So that's kind of what we do too. We just only tend to use Sling during football season. We just found we weren't watching a lot of live TV. We don't watch that much TV in general, but we, we just try to cut the budget and only pay for it during football season. Okay, so deals. Paparazzi, this is unadvertised, but it's back this week. We saw this a lot last month, but we haven't seen it in two or three weeks. This deal's always the same when we do see it. So paparazzi, their regular price is $2.99, but when you buy two of them, they're two for $5. That's just normal price. So you grab two of them, it's $5 worth, but you're gonna get $4 back. So in the end, you're gonna pay 50 cents a piece for nail polish. Uh, you know, it's one that, as we get closer to the holidays, you may end up regretting not grabbing because they really do make great stocking stuffers. Um, this is not an advertised deal, but you should find it in all stores. So to dive into some other deals, there are no coupons here, but I did want to mention it uh, for two different products. So we've got, these are like big things that people love. Um, this Conair all-in-one dryer brush. They also have it as a paddle brush. And this week when you buy one of them, you get a $20 reward, um, which in particular for this guy actually makes it a better price than you can find anywhere. Um, so if you know somebody that you think, I know we're, we're a little ahead here, but my brain is always thinking gifts. Uh, and if I, if you knew that you know someone on your list would want both of these, I might go ahead and grab one now with that $20 reward, no coupons, just kind of want to mention it because it does actually make it like the best price that you can find. Um, this guy's a little bit more. One was um, going to be 28. This one will be 32. Just kind of, you know, you can price that out if you wanted to. So to dive into normal deals. Um, oh, and Dana's got a question on paparazzi. So you have three separate $1 off CVS coupons. Would each one work for that deal? They would. So you would grab two bottles, and if your coupon is one dollar off one paparazzi, uh, yeah, you'd get to use two of them. You would pay three dollars, and you would get back four. I do. I also get paparazzi coupons, but mine are usually one dollar off two bottles, so I would only be able to use one, but it would still make them free. So if you have that coupon, Dana, you should definitely grab paparazzi this week. Um, Oh, and Stacy, yeah, so if you're not seeing the tag on paparazzi, let me go back. Uh, if you're not seeing the tag, should you assume yes? Uh, generally, tags are not regional in CVS. So if it is issuing an extra care buck, it's issuing an extra care buck kind of system-wide. Uh, and if, if your store has not tagged it, you could check um, the coupon center and see what it says. Uh, in this situation, because paparazzi is full price, the coupon center may actually say nothing. But sometimes that actually will be a way that you can see like, oh yeah, it is ringing up at the sale price that the, the ad is supposed to be at. I will do that a lot if my store has not tagged anything. Um, in this situation, I just, just trust me and it's, you're gonna be fine, grab two of them, pay five bucks and get back that $4 reward. Uh, but hopefully you'll find it tagged in your store too. Um, so more cosmetics deals. I didn't take a picture. So before I mentioned CoverGirl, actually it did not take a picture, but Revlon um, actually has a, a pretty good price this week. Um, and I had, uh, there we go. I had pulled a link so that I could share uh, specifically what I wanted you guys to look for. So Revlon this week, and I'm going to just share my screen. This is just a CVS page. All I've done is I've pulled up Revlon and then on the sidebar here, I have sorted it to only show me items that are between 10 and $15 on purpose. And then sorting um, where I, I wanna see the price that is low to high on purpose. So this week, when you grab $10 worth of Revlon, you will get a $4 reward back. 
and in the 913 inserts, um, you know, in my hurry over here, let me make sure I tell you which one. It was in the Smart Source, the 913 Smart Source. Uh, we've got $4 off Revlon coupons that expire this week. They were only good for two weeks. So you have a $4 off any face cosmetic and you have a $4 off any foundation. I also have a Revlon $5 off any $20 store coupon. And the Revlon deal, it's always a limit of six. Anytime you see an extra care buck for Revlon, you can always buy more. So here's one deal idea for you, um, just using the prices that are online, because I forgot to take pictures of this one in the store. Um, but you will find a number of face products. So this is a color correcting pen. This is like a concealer. This is candid. It's actually candid foundation. They're all $10.99. So grab one concealer, one foundation. The concealer is a face cosmetic, and then you're grabbing the foundation. That's basically $22 worth of Revlon. I can use my $5 store coupon, and I can use two $4 off coupons. All the Revlon coupons are a limit of one, so I can't do two foundations or two concealers. I gotta do one of each. But I use one face cosmetic, one foundation. So I'm now using $13 in coupons, basically. A five and two fours, $13 worth of coupons. It's a $22 purchase, uh, really rounding up on that one. Um, it, so after all the coupons, you're gonna get back $8 in rewards. So basically, quick math, you're gonna end up paying $1 for both items. If you don't have a store coupon, you would end up paying $6 for both items using just the two $4 off coupons or three bucks a piece. It's still a pretty good price for foundation. Um, just keep in mind that those Revlon coupons, they do expire this weekend. So if you haven't used them, this really is the best deal that you're gonna find in town if you wanted to use them. I mean, if you don't wanna use them, don't use them. Um, but just so you kind of see the deal, hopefully you've got a store coupon to pair in with that. I always have a store coupon for Revlon and L'Oreal every week they come back. Um, so that is a great way to pair those together if you do have a store coupon. Uh, and I just did not grab pictures in my store. It's just kind of to sh show you in general what you're looking for in your store. Um, but hopefully that helps. There is also a very good deal on CoverGirl. We see CoverGirl so often. Uh, this week it's buy two and get a $6 reward. So aim for your cheapest items. Um, my go-to is always this mascara. I mentioned last night on the Q&A that the price had gone up. This mascara was always $6.99 and this week it was $7.29. I still went ahead and bought two. I had a store coupon for $3 off any $12 CoverGirl. So I used my $3 store and I used two $3 eye coupons for CoverGirl, and those were also in that 913 insert. So I used $9 worth of coupons. Um, so after coupons, total for me was $5.58. Um, again, using a $3 store and two $3 manufacturers. So $5.58, but I got back a $6 reward. So even though the price has gone up, uh, it was still a moneymaker for me, really. It's a uh, you know 42 cent moneymaker, basically pays for the tax. But if you've got those CoverGirl coupons and they were not in all inserts, I will just go ahead and tell you that. But if you have them, $3 off coupons, this is a great week to use them. This is actually not the cheapest eye product. Uh, those brow pencils are always the cheapest eye product. Uh, but this is actually what I use. So I am glad to get free mascara anytime that I can. So you could actually make this a bigger money maker if you had a store coupon and you just grabbed those brow pencils. But I wanted to go for something that I would actually use. Uh, I have enough brow pencils from making this into so many money makers in the past. Um, okay, so, um, oh, and Desiree, you're saying you have a six off 20. So those just became completely free for you. You've got some good coupons there. Uh, hopefully you will definitely um, end up getting or having those Revlon coupons when you go digging through your inserts. Uh, would I recommend using the free beauty coupon on an extra care buck like CoverGirl? Yes. So if you do have a any free beauty product, a lot of times it's it's a five dollar or less uh, type offer, or it's got a money limit there. Yes, using it with an extra care buck deal, hands down, is the way to use that. Uh, I have not gotten that one, but hopefully. Um, 
for you, it's going to be something that you could grab. It can be tricky because if it is for like a $5 or less product, uh, I don't know what you would grab. It might be like the CoverGirl blenders, which is more of an accessory than a cosmetic, but hopefully you can find something it would work on. Okay. Um, so to go through, we've got two different razor deals this week. Uh, Gillette and Venus is one of them. Uh, buy two, any two razors, you're going to get $8 back in rewards. Uh, your best option, you can kind of see it up here in the corner, is the Gillette Mach 3. I wasn't really thinking, and I took a picture of the guy that's right next to it, and the Mach 3 is really this one that we want. I took a picture of the Fusion 5, but the Mach 3 is the cheapest option. Um, it is in my store, like $10.99, $10.49, depends on what store I go to in town. Um, the only downside for me is that it's a three blade razor and my husband has specifically said, I don't want any more of these three blade razors. Um, so I would have to grab this guy um, just to be the good wife. But if you can grab the cheapest item here, we've got Gillette coupons that were in our August P&G. So you gotta go back to 8.30. And we have $2 off Gillette and Venus razor coupons. They're the only ones that are out. There are no digitals here. There's nothing else. But check your CVS store coupons because I always have a coupon for razors of some sorts. This week, I actually have three options. I have a Venus 4 off 20. I have a Gillette 5 off 20. And then I have a basic 3 off 12 of any razors. So best option is actually to go Gillette with the 5 off 20 to use two of the $2 offs, that's your limit, that's all you can do. And if you went with the Mach 3, you grabbed, uh, you used basically $9 worth of coupons grabbing the Mach 3, you'd end up paying a buck 99 for each one of them, not bad. If you go Gillette Fusion for me, that would be basically like $3.99 for both of them. Uh, maybe a little, I guess more like $3.49 for both of them. Still not a bad price, but just so you can see that one, if you don't have a store coupon, I, would, I wouldn't I would grab it. So razors for me, I will grab them if they're potential, if it's one that my husband will definitely use, I would still pay for it at like $3.99 uh, if he needed them. But I typically would not wanna pay more than even $2.99 for a name brand razor, even cheaper if you can get it. Uh, and we do see better coupons. We see $4 off coupons from time to time. So I would just wait if you don't have those store coupons on this deal. Um, now hopefully you've got one or two. Um, so let's talk toothpaste. I'm going to come back to the other razor deal in a second because it's really part of the gift card deal this week. So toothpaste is technically not free, but uh, if you have a store coupon, this could come out pretty well. So this is actually the deal I purchased this week. Um, I grabbed three of these Colgate Optic Whites at $4.19 each. There's a manufacturer's coupon that everyone has for $3 off two Colgate this week. And we have a 50 cent Colgate that came in the inserts from uh, I think 9.13. So I came in armed with my 50 cent coupon and my $3 off two digital. Uh, and then I had a $3 off two store, or sorry, a $3 off 12 store as well. Um, so this is the deal that for me ended up not working uh, and we all have those moments. Uh, but my $3 off two coupon, uh, the manufacturer did not end up applying uh, the way that it should have. So it, it was dealt with and fixed when I um, called corporate. But just so you kind of get that, if you decide to try to do this deal, you need to do it on its own. And then when the coupon doesn't apply, the store can fix it. So get the store to fix it right then. Um, but I didn't catch that until I had checked out. So we all do. Uh, I, I checked out all at one time. So to catch that error is really tricky all at one time when you're buying a lot of items. So let me walk you through the math if it's gonna work right. You're gonna buy three, you're gonna use a $3 off two manufacturer, a 50 cent manufacturer, and then I had a $3 off 12 in Colgate. So that is $6.50 and these basically come to like $12.60, um, rounding up a penny there. So $12.60 is what you owe, $6.50 is what you're using in coupons. So you end up owing, um, you're gonna get back $6 in rewards. You see where this is going? Uh, I ended up owing, it once it all was fixed, seven cents for three Colgate toothpaste. 
I know they're free in Walgreens. I actually got them in Walgreens too because I was in both stores taking pictures. But this is our favorite toothpaste. So if Colgate's on sale and it's free, I'm glad to grab it. We were actually getting kind of low. I hadn't been grabbing the deals lately. Um, so three for seven cents in the end. But I do want to emphasize that you need to watch that digital coupon. Uh, so they will fix it. All will be right in the world. But just so you kind of get it and you're happy. Uh, I, I want you to be happy in the end. So watch your coupons. Um, but seven cents for three of them, not a bad price. I want to mention Burt's Bees. He's not free, but if you love Burt's Bees toothpaste, it's 99 cents this week. We've got $2 off coupons, um, and those Burt's Bees coupons, uh, let me see where they were. Oh, goodness. I'm all, I'm all ahead of myself on the shopping list this week. Normally, I map it all out, but I just did it right on the shopping list. Um, Oh, I made it so crazy for myself, too. I can't tell you guys where those were. Um, you shouldn't write all over your shopping list, obviously. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you. I don't know where it is on my list. Huh. Um, oh, I found him. He was in this past week's paper. I should have known that. Um, so $2 off Burt's Bees coupons in Sunday's paper. It is a limit of two. So grab both of those Burt's Bees coupons. That's $4 in coupons. You're going to get back $4 in rewards. So it would make them $0.99 cents a piece. I do not have a coupon for just any oral care, but if you did, this would get you a chunk of the way there. Um, so you could check your store coupons and see if you had a coupon for any toothpaste or any you know, mouthwash, et cetera, and throw it in with another deal, and that would potentially make these free. I don't have one, so maybe you do. Okay, Nexus is on sale everywhere in drugstore land. Um, pretty much the same deal, CVS and Walgreens. And obviously the reward is different, but it's $10 in both stores. Buy 20, get 10. And we've got $5 off coupons that were in that Unilever insert on Sunday. Uh, so grab your $5 off Unilever coupon, head to the store. I also had a four off 18 hair care. So yeah, there's no stopping me at this point. If I can get Nexus for a buck 99, I am there. So the one you want to grab is this guy right in the middle. He is $20.99. Perfect. Grab one of them. Use one $5 off coupon. I used my $4 off store. So that's $9 in coupons. Total due is $11.99, and you're going to get back a $10 reward. So paying $1.99 in the end for Nexus. I also had a store coupon for $4 off of Nexus as well. Um, I was curious whether or not it would also attach, and it, um, for me, it did not. And I did buy other hair care, so I also bought Suave, which I'm going to mention in a second, uh, thinking that potentially the Suave would put me over the threshold where the 4 off 18 would still be happy, uh, and the store coupons would all line up. Um, but the computer is viewing that $4 off Nexus as a manufacturer, and it's not wanting to stack it with the $5. So if you pull up your CVS app or you go to the coupon center and you also get a $4 off Nexus, just keep in mind that the computer might not want to use both. Um, maybe it will work for you, but for me, it did not. I was happy with a buck 99. I just was tempted to see if they would end up becoming a moneymaker pairing it all in. Um, but for me, they would not, it would, it wouldn't attach that other coupon. Um, oh, and Dana, if you've got a 10 off 30, you could still use it. What I might do with a 10 off 30, honestly, is going ahead and grabbing one of these other items. You'll see all the other items are really like $16.49. Um, so grab two then so that you've hit your $30. Use two $5 off coupons. That's their limit, which is great. Uh, so then you're going to use $10 worth of manufacturer's coupons, so your $10 store coupon, and you're going to get back a $10 reward. So it's still going to be a pretty good deal for you with that 10 off 30 um, because you're, you're going to still come out paying basically a buck 49 for each of those products. So definitely still go in for Nexus if you have a 10 off 30. Um, I only had that 4 off 18, so you're just technically, um, you know, I didn't have to go over the deal, but you've got a much bigger uh, savings in the end. Okay, the other razor deal to put this together um, with an option anyway for you, we just got new printable coupons for Chic Hydro uh, and for Chic Quattro. So we got a $4 off printable coupon on Sunday for Chic Hydro. Uh, the Hydro in my store is $11.29. 
depending on your coupons, you may actually want to go for, they have a couple that are a little more expensive. Um, so I have a store coupon for $3 off any 12 in razors. If you had that, then look for a razor that is right at 12 bucks. That is chic. It's going to count towards the gift card. You're going to use your $4 printable and your store. It's going to be an even better deal. You're saving like seven bucks. Um, keep in mind, all I got to do is buy 25 before coupons and I get the gift card. So you're looking for items with the gift card that you have the most number of coupons for. And this is definitely one of them. So the gift card deal this week, honestly, most of the participating items we don't have coupons for. So if you wanted to do this week's gift card deal, Chic should be part of your list. Um, whether you had a store coupon or not, it's definitely one of the only options that we have coupons for. The other option that we have coupons for that is part of the gift card is Tresemme. So they're on sale two for eight, uh, and we have a $3 off two that also came in the Unilever flyer this weekend. Uh, and this Tresemme, I think, is still available on Ibotta. Um, I'm going to check and see what is there. But I know um, we had a $2 off on the Pro, which is this guy right here. Um, the, the $2 off on Pro was gone by Sunday night. Um, but let's see if the 150 is still there. It is. So if you wanted to grab this guy and you grab two for eight bucks on Tresemme, you're going to use two, or sorry, you're going to use your $3 off two manufacturer's coupon and then two $1.50 Ibotta's uh, that technically expire tomorrow. So don't wait. Uh, you've basically gotten each of these Tresemme's for $1 a bottle. I know it's not free, and I know that they're free in Walgreens, or sorry, they're free in Target, but this is eight bucks towards the gift card deal. So that's really the point here, is that if we grab a Chic razor, we grab two Tresemme's, you're at 20 bucks already. You only need one more thing, and you've earned that $10 gift card. So just to kind of give you that idea as you ponder what to grab, that is what I would look for. Um, you could also potentially go Burt's Bees here. Uh, it depends on store coupons. I don't ever purchase Burt's Bees. I can't tell you the last time I did in CVS, but I do have a CVS store coupon for Burt's Bees this week for $5 off any $15 purchase. And Burt's Bees facial products are part of the gift card deal. So I'm going to assume a number of folks have that coupon as well, since a lot of times your coupons are actually targeted towards what you've purchased. This one is not for me. Um, so Hopefully you might have that and that would be something else that you could add in if you were trying to work out a gift card option. Um, and Christine, yes, so Tresemme, um, the Tresemme offer is good on any shampoo and or conditioner. So you can grab one shampoo, grab one conditioner, you'll still get back two offers on this. Uh, and this is actually a limit of three. So if you wanted, as an idea, uh, grab a Chic, one Chic razor at 12 bucks. Uh, grab three Tresemme's. Now, you don't have another like manufacturer's coupon for Tresemme. And your third one is actually not going to be four bucks. It's going to be $4.99. They kind of tell you that in fine print down here. Uh, but it will get you to the $25 that you need. So now you've uh, spent $25 before coupons. For me, I have $7 in Chic uh, offers between the store and the manufacturer. I have a $3 Tresemme, so that's $10 worth of coupons right there in the store. I hand those over, you know, 015, you're going to get back a $10 gift card and you're going to submit for $4.50 back from Ibotta. So you just got all of that, one Chic razor and three Tresemmes after the gift card for 50 cents. So hopefully that uh, was trackable a little bit, um, spelling it all out. That's just giving you an idea of how to piece that deal together. Always looking for the items that you have the most number of coupons for, uh, because they will always make the best deals. Um, so Suave for me, I was not expecting this one. I have a store coupon this week for $2 off to any Suave. They're just on sale this week, three for six. And we have a $3 off two that was in the Unilever. So if you have that store coupon, then you're basically saving $5 off of two bottles and they're on sale two for six. Now on Sunday, this was actually a better deal. So for me on Sunday, this was a money maker because we also had $1 off Ibotta offers. They're gone now, um, but in the end, you're still gonna get each of these for 50 cents a piece. So you're gonna get 
five bucks off and you're gonna pay one dollar for two bottles. Uh, if you had a hair care coupon uh, and you were gonna throw that in, uh, you know, I was hoping that this along with my Nexus was gonna let that second Nexus coupon work, it didn't. Um, but for you, if you just scrap these and threw them in with another deal, it would potentially even become a freebie for you. Uh, but just to kind of mention um, as an idea to add this one to the list if you have that store coupon, no rewards there, it's just a sale. Kotex this week. Uh, these are the large packs of Kotex. They're on sale for $7.49. So this isn't the like the normal 16 count. These are the like double size packs, I guess, if we were to try to give it a name. They're all $7.49. So whether you go pads or tampons, get one and you will get a $3 reward back. We've got $1 printables here. We have $1 insert coupons. So you can kind of decide what you want to grab. I'm just going to try to see if I can find that one quickly. Um, the insert coupons are from the 913 inserts for the printable. They're both on the CVS list on Southern Savers. So after the coupon, you would pay $6.49. You would get back a $3 reward. So it would be $3.49 for you. It's actually a great price for a double pack size. I mean, you're basically paying like a buck 74 a piece if you were to split it out into the smaller size packages. That's a good price. Can be better. Check your store coupons. I've got a store coupon for $1 off any $6 purchase of feminine care. So that brings it down even lower. Now you're using $2 in coupons. You're going to pay $5.49 and in the end, get back that $3 reward or $2.49 for the whole box. So if you've got that one, it's something to add to the list. Uh, limit of one on, all, on most of these deals. This is a, a good deal for your medicine cabinet. Uh, it doesn't come out to be free but it does come out to be a pretty great price. Uh, this particular, you're looking at the dry spray for Icy Hot with Lidocaine. Potentially, if you could find just normal Icy Hot dry spray, that's also going to be a great deal. My store didn't have it. My store also didn't even have a spot where it would be, um, but we have higher value coupons just for the basic dry spray that doesn't have Lidocaine in it. And it's going to be, it should be cheaper. So look for that one in your store if you can. If you can't, then grab Icy Hot with Lidocaine. We've got $2 off Icy Hot coupons. Um, they were in the 823 insert, so you have to go back a month. Uh, they're actually set to expire this week, so grab that $2 off Icy Hot. We also have uh, a $2 off Ibotta offer, and check your store coupons. I have a $3 off $12 purchase in pain relief, and that is going to apply here. So in the end, I've got basically $7 worth of coupons, a $3 reward. I'm going to pay $3.99 for one Icy Hot dry spray. Um, if it's something that you would use or you would want in your medicine cabinet, that's a pretty great price um, just to mention it. You could grab other items. This deal is just buy 12 in Icy Hot or Asper Cream that's the one where the coupons line up the best. Um, and you'll notice the prices on the others, you end up spending way more than the $12 that the deal is asking. So, um, you know, just to kind of get an idea. Uh, so uh, Candida says I got a $7 off $25 in CVS Healthcare. So it's a tricky one um, because it's usually only applies to their house brand. Uh, and you're gonna find that a lot of their house brand items are not normally on sale. You'll see, um, this week, I think first aid is, cold is, I think there's one more foot care maybe, uh, that you could grab maybe two of those deals. I think both of those deals, Candida, are $5 extra care bucks when you buy 15. So you could grab two of those deals. Um, you're not gonna have any other coupons to use on them, but then you could use your store coupon. One thing to mention, if you do get a CVS Health coupon like that and you wanna use it, is Care Pass. I don't know if you have CVS Care Pass. If you're a regular CVS couponer, you should have CVS Care Pass. Um, but one of the perks of CVS Care Pass, on top of the $10 bonus every month, is that you get 20% off of all CVS Health house brand items. So as you're kind of figuring out your deal, just keep that in mind. That's an extra 20% that you may not have planned on, um, thanks to being part of Care Pass. If you're not part of CarePass, sign up and then do the deal. Uh, you'll have 10 bucks to use right away. Uh, contact solution, 
clear care and OptiFree. I think I, I didn't include my OptiFree picture. They're both part of the same deal, so you have to decide which one you want. We've got $6 off coupons. I want to say um, they were in an insert a couple of weeks ago, and they were not in all areas. So just a warning, um, because for me, clear care was not in my insert. Um, but 830s, they were in the RMM from 830 with $6 off on Twin Packs. They're on sale for $16.99, so you're going to pay $10.99 after your coupon, and you're going to get back a $5 reward. So this twin pack is going to be $5.99 after uh, your manufacturer's coupon and the reward, and that's two bottles. It's a pretty great price. So if you use Clear Care or OptiFree, this is your week to grab it. It's a limit of one, um, but hopefully those two bottles will last you until it's back on sale. And we do see that one at least once a month. Benadryl, just to mention, we do have new printable coupons here. Uh, and look, kind of sticking out on the corner, just for you, Candida, is the CBS uh, house brand one, and it's running an extra care buck. So you can go with that one. Um, Benadryl is uh, running a deal. We've got new printable coupons for it. And if you have a first aid, uh, just general coupon, it will apply on Benadryl, and it will apply on the itch. If you just, if you decide to go the tabs or the itch, it's considered first aid, so exciting. It's even kind of sold in that first aid section in the store. Um, so grab two of them, use two $1 offs. I've got a $3 off 12, uh, which would apply here as well. So I'm now saving $5 off, plus getting back a $4 reward. That's a $9 savings. Um, so. If you have the store coupon, I would definitely grab it. If you don't have the store coupon, technically getting the house brand here is cheaper. Um, so just to throw that out. And for two seconds, this is a little like nursing in service moment. This drives me crazy. Um, but just so you know, Benadryl, it's the same thing that is in like Tylenol Simply Sleep or anything that is sold as a Simply Sleep kind of medicine. Um, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because it probably would butcher it without thinking about it, but it is always cheaper to buy it on the allergy section or allergy aisle than it is to buy it in the sleep aisle. It's the same medicine and the box has the same number of tablets in it. Um, so just as a little like saving you some money moment, do not pay for sleep Benadryl. It's the same thing. Um, they have rebranded it. They have put it in its own packaging. And I mean, it even went to the FDA to get it cleared for another use. It's the same thing. Um, so always go for the allergy version. It is always cheaper than the sleep version. Um, let's talk toilet paper. We have deals on toilet paper. We haven't had deals in like six months. And I took a picture just for y'all to see. My store had a ton of toilet paper. Uh, now the store was, and you can kind of tell if I like zoom in here, they had handwritten right here, limit two. So they were gonna um, tell folks, you know, you can't, the deal is basically a limit of one. So I don't know why you'd want to grab more than two. Um, but just, you know, I, you can fully do the deal. Hopefully, hopefully your store is gonna be that stock too. Uh, I actually purchased this one. So I went with the Comfort Plus, it's 12 mega rolls. We've got coupons here as well. So if you decide to go in and get stocked, you can, and you'd actually be able to save. Uh, we've got printable coupons for Scott Comfort Plus. They're 50 cent coupons. We also have printable coupons for um, the 1000 sheets, which are part of this. So you can kind of decide which ones you want. Um, I just prefer the Comfort Plus over the 1000. So I grabbed two Comfort Plus. I used two 50 cent coupons uh, in the end, you know, it's not amazing, it's not gonna be free, but if you're using rewards, this is why we coupon, you've got all your rewards built up, then you're still not gonna come out paying much at all. Uh, so for everything that I grabbed this week, literally paid two bucks for it all, and that included two packs of toilet paper. That's why we CVS, uh, so that I can earn rewards on this deal and I can use them for the next deal. No, this is not a money maker, but it is a significant savings, definitely when I can pay with those rewards. Um, so after the reward and the coupon, you're basically saving $3 off of each pack. So you're gonna get the 12 mega roll for $4.99 a piece. Um, and that's a great price for 12 mega rolls of Scott Comfort Plus. Uh, there's also a deal on paper towels. This one you need to buy two. 
Uh, it also includes Cottonelle. My store didn't have any on the Cottonelle. But they had everything else Scott. Uh, so you could grab two paper towels if you wanted. Um, we did have printable coupons. I may have actually printed them so they just weren't showing up for me. But hopefully you will be able to see them. They're all on the same page together. Uh, so you can grab those printable coupons hopefully. Uh, and this is going to come out to be either like $6.99. I'm trying to do fast math on that. Um, or no, sorry, I'm going way too low. So $7.99 a piece if you had no coupons or $7.49 a piece if you did have coupons. Uh, and this, just so you can, I don't even know the way that I took the picture if you can kind of tell, but it is a 12 roll pack, uh, just to kind of compare that to other deals that you may find around town. Uh, in the end, I know um, Walgreens wise, we can get um, six roll packs in Walgreens for, goodness, I think it's like 350 in the end. Um, so you kind of come out to about the same price if you've got that coupon and you're paying $7.49 for the paper towels, just so you kind of have a, you know, a general ballpark of how to compare this to the same deal in Walgreens. The Walgreens deal is a month long deal that will end this week, but we always see Scott come back on sale every month in Walgreens, just kind of always lives there on sale. Uh, there is a $10 off 30 on Tide this week, just to mention it. Um, for me, I feel like this deal's always there. So if you needed it, you can grab it. We do have coupons. We've got $2 off on the pods. We've got $3 off on the large sizes of detergents. Mix and match those. You've got them as printables. You've got them potentially as inserts, but I don't think anybody's really getting them in their inserts anymore. And you have them as CVS digitals. Um, there are other items that are part of this, um, but Tide to me is the only one that really had a bunch of coupons. Uh, oh, and Paige, that's a great question. I did not actually compare, but I would say they were probably the same size rolls as the one that is in Walgreens. So those six, it's a six roll pack in Walgreens, it's a 12 roll pack in CVS, but they're still, this says it's 102 sheets per roll, so they're still a, a smaller size roll of Scott paper towels. Um, oh, and Sue, yes, there are deals on Persol. So I didn't take a picture in CVS. CVS has it on sale for $5.99 this week. You've got a $2 off coupon, so you would pay $3.99. Walgreens actually has the better price or potentially Target, Sue. So Persol in Target is part of the gift card deal. It's $11.99 for the 100 ounce or the 40 count. And we have coupons for both of those. So if you head to Target, you use a $3 off on the liquid and a $2 off on the packs. Um, and you get back a $5 gift card to basically save 10 bucks off of two at $11.99 a piece. Um, that's a pretty good price for the larger size container. So it depends on where you want to go. Walgreens, it's going to be $2.99 for the 40 ounce, or you go to uh, Target for the 100 ounce and the 40 count. Those are the two best deals that are in town. Okay. Um, and yeah, and T's saying check to CVS app. I had a personal coupon last week for CVS that was a $2 off personal. So if you had that last week and you saved it or you got a new one this week, you could pair that with your personal manufacturer coupon too and it would make for a pretty good deal. Um, now, two or three deals in CVS to just mention. We have Nature's Truth Vitamin uh, and Supplement coupons that expire this week. So if you wanted to use them, I think they're from the 823 insert, but they may be from a little bit more recent. Um, there, buy one, get one. And remember in CVS that I can use a coupon on the one that is free. So if you wanted to, it could potentially make for a good deal if, if it was something that you wanted. Um, we do have a, an extra care buck deal on Oreos, if that gets you excited. Uh, and there is a checkout 51 offer here that has a limit of five. So if you grab the three packs of Oreos that you need for the deal, you could submit each one of those for an, a checkout 51 offer. Mine is for 75 cents off of one. So you would get back $2.25 from Checkout 51 and a $4 reward. So in the end, you've got three packs of Oreos for $5.75. That's a pretty good price. And they're the family size packs. Um, I don't think you're going to beat that, even in a grocery store. So if you just really, really need some Oreos, you can add that one to your list. And then cereal. Cereal lives at $1.99. We do have Ibotta offers for Kellogg's and we've got printable and insert coupons. So depending on the cereal that you grab, um, Frosted Mini Wheats in my store, we also had Corn Pops, Pop-Tarts, a few of the other kids' cereals were all part of this. So depending on the coupons you pair in, for me, the cheapest was $1.14. 
after using a 50 cent coupon and a 35 cent uh, Ibotta. So hopefully you'll have some of those too. Um, but if you needed cereal, those are ones to grab. And Nature Valley, this is actually super cheap for Nature Valley because we've got a lot of coupons. We've got $1 off two coupons. We have a $1 off two saving star. So if you've not used your saving star yet and you want to pair that in, you could. You'd end up paying a dollar a box. So you'd use your $1 off two paper and your $1 off two saving star. Get each one of those for a buck. Not, not bad. Uh, and actually comes out cheaper than we've seen in the grocery stores lately. And then Renews It. Renews It is on sale everywhere right now. We have a new uh, buy four and get two free manufacturer's coupon. And we had an Ibotta. This is another one where um, I should have checked before we went live, um, but I'll check again and see if he's still there. Sometimes when they come out in the paper, uh, yep, we still have that Ibotta $1 off three as well. So you would grab six, you would use your insert coupon, get two of them free with the insert coupon, then submit for your $1 off Ibotta. You're gonna end up getting uh, basically six of them for less than the price of two of them. If you love Renews It, uh, just it's, a, it's one option of how to use that coupon. And this is about as cheap as we see them whenever any stores run them on sale. Okay, let's talk Walgreens. I grabbed toothpaste in Walgreens and I, I actually purchased the deal, but I guess I was so focused on purchasing the deal that I forgot to take, to, to take pictures of it. So I just took a screenshot uh, of the deal online. Um, Colgate is our first one that is free. Colgate Optic White and Total SF, I think were part of it in the store for me. Um, so let me see if I can make this any bigger for you guys. Oh, I didn't wanna go back. I'm just trying to make him, make him get big. He doesn't want to. This is as big as we're gonna get. So Colgate's on sale, all toothpaste for $2.99 that are part of the deal. And there is a digital Walgreens coupon for $4 off of two. So grab two of them. You're then you're basically paying 99 cents a piece at the register, but you're gonna get back a $2 register award. So they're just completely free after that register award. Pretty sweet. Uh, obviously this one's a limit of one because you only have one of those digital coupons. You're not gonna be able to you could keep getting more register rewards, but it's not going to be free if you didn't have that four off two to kind of keep pairing in with it. Crest is also a really great deal, and I have two ways that you can work this deal. So this one you could actually do and end up with six items if you wanted, or sorry, five items if you wanted to. So Crest is three bucks, and this includes toothpaste and mouthwash and toothbrushes. So three bucks. We've got $1 off digital coupons for toothpaste, mouthwash, and toothbrushes, $1 a piece. Uh, so you could grab two of them, be six bucks, use two $1 off digital coupons. Uh, you would then owe four bucks and you're gonna get back a $4 register award. So completely free. Or option B, or maybe you do both, is grab three of them at $3 a piece uh, the deal is only that you have to buy two, but trust me here, buy three of them. Total due is $9, but we have a, a Walgreens digital coupon for $5 off of three uh, Crest toothpaste, toothbrushes, and mouthwash. So you're going to grab three. You're going to pay nine bucks before the coupon. Use the $5 digital coupon. Your total due is $4, and you're going to get back a $4 reward. So you actually could do this twice, just to point that out. You have all those $1 off offers, and if you still have that five off three, now if you use the five off three in a previous week, you don't have it. It's not new this week. It's one that's been out for a few weeks, but you could potentially do this deal twice. Get two the first round with $1 off coupons. Get your reward. Do not use your reward to pay for the next deal. It will not print another one but you could then do it again, use the five off three and get another $4 reward. Just to mention lots of free toothpaste deals. Um, if you really wanted to go crazy, um, it, you know, why not donate them if you wanted to? Um, so Paige asked, does Ibotta ever do offers where you have to buy three of something to get the offer and the limit of offer is more than one? No. Uh, and I, it does make sense, Paige. So like the Renews It, for example, on Ibotta, it is a $1 offer, but you have to buy three. That never has a limit that is more than one. However, 
it is a deal that we see that once you submit it, it tends to come back. Um, so it's like a, a limit one of that purchase on that receipt. And then hopefully you'll find that you were, you, it did pop back in and you could grab it on a different receipt. But I think that's just kind of the way their computer system can handle those types of offers. Um, now with Walgreens, I wanted to give you guys a warning. Um, uh, oh, and I didn't take a picture of it. So I'll just back out for a second. So it's not confusing. Um, Walgreens put out a really, really high value digital coupon this week for $7 off of two Crest products. <clears throat> and I think this is actually why I forgot to take pictures in the Oracle aisle because I just sat there constantly scanning products, trying to see what would work with that seven off two coupon. And just as a warning, uh, none of the items that are part of the month long deal, which is a buy $10 and get 5,000 points back, None of those will work with the seven off two and none of the items that are part of either of the register award deals. Um, so it is a great coupon and it will actually make for some pretty decent prices. You're saving $3 and 50 cents off one item, but you just need to be really mindful of what is a participating item for that coupon. And actually, um, just to show you how to do that, the easiest way to do that is really to look online before you go to the store. Um, so for me, I kind of looked, but you know, was more thinking, ah, oh, when I get there, I'm going to be able to find something that works for this. And that's not always the case. It's not always as simple as it is. So this is my Walgreens account. It can, it's, I already have it clipped, but you've got the option to shop. And so when you click shop, it will show you everything that qualifies for this seven off two coupon. This is probably one of your cheapest options. You could get this online. You can totally use the coupon online and just do it for like a pickup order if you wanted. It would be free shipping then. Um, but these are normally $4.79. You're gonna get $3.50 off of them. It's gonna make them $1.29. There's no rewards that will work with this coupon. Um, so don't go in thinking, oh, I have this really high value coupon. It's gonna make for a great price. It's not really, you're going to be a little frustrated, but you will find that there are a number of decent prices that you can use it with, just none that are going to give you, going to make this a moneymaker, not going to turn into a moneymaker. Um, so if you got, if you got super excited because you saw that coupon and just wanted to save you um, from being frustrated when you got in the store, just stick with the five off three, stick with the $1 offs and grab those free items if that's what you want to do. And uh, you know, maybe just wait and not use this guy. It is only good this week, but um, it's okay to not use a coupon. It really is. I promise. Um, so Tresemme, to move on from Oral Care Land, this guy was completely free. The Tresemme offer on the pro versions is gone. Uh, or the Ibotta offer, sorry, on the Tresemme Pro is gone. So how this deal is going to work now uh, is buy two. It's $10 worth. You're going to get back a $3 register award. But you also have a $3 off two manufacturer's coupon from the Sunday paper. So that's $6 between the reward and the coupon. In the end, you're going to pay $2 a bottle. It's a decent price. It's a better price if you just head to Target, um, just to, give, to tell you the truth there. Target this week for Tresemme is buy four and get a $5 gift card. These are the same price at Target. They're $4.99 instead of $5. Bucks. Um, but you could use three off two coupons. You're going to get back the gift card. Really, you could go for the cheaper versions, uh, and it does come out to a pretty decent price. So that's probably what I would do there. Um, but it's however you want to go with it. Two bucks a bottle. If you go with just using your $3 off two coupon and your $3 reward though on Tresemme, it also includes, uh, the Tresemme stylers. There is a $2 off coupon on stylers. So could be a better deal if you just went with the stylers because then you would have $4 in coupons. Oop, didn't mean to hit the button. You would use $4 in coupons if you use two of those $2 off styler coupons, $3 in rewards, it's $7 now, and you're gonna pay $1.50 a piece for the stylers. So just to throw that out as an option to, um, so Nexus, uh, I told you at CVS, it was a deal at CVS, it's the same exact deal in Walgreens. The tricky part between the two, CVS has that conditioner. All their conditioners in CVS are $20.99, which is perfect for a deal that requires a $20 purchase. In Walgreens, not the case. In Walgreens, they're $19.99 just to drive you insane. 
Um, so you've got a couple options. You can grab two at $14.99. You're way over on the deal, but use two $5 off coupons. So you've got $10 in coupons and $10 in rewards. You're gonna pay $4.99 a piece for the individual shampoos. Or you could go for the very large guy. Use one $5 off coupon and the $10 reward. You're gonna end up paying $9.99. Um, and this is, I mean, this is like a pump bottle. You can't kind of see the top there, but he's a 33.8 ounce bottle. So in reality, he's like two and a half times this size. It's a pretty decent price. So just so you kind of see what your plan is, uh, in my store, there was no product that was right at 20 bucks. So just to warn you before you get there, it's kind of frustrating. And in a, in a way, makes the CVS deal a better one. Definitely, if you have a hair care coupon at CVS or a Nexus store coupon, uh, hands down, the CVS deal is the better deal in that situation. Uh, there is also a great deal on detergent and Downy this week. Downy, Tide, and Bounce. Uh, when you buy three of them at $2.99, you will get back a $3 register award. Uh, and this is Tide Simply, just so you're catching that one. It's not normal Tide. But we've got $1 off coupons for all three products. So grab three of them, use three $1 offs. You're gonna need to get creative here because each one of them is a limit of one. So one printable uh, and a digital on Downy and a digital on Tide, you know, making it work. Grab three of them, use three coupons, get back $3 in rewards. That's six bucks in coupons. So basically you are buying one and you are getting two for free after the coupons and the rewards at $2.99. Not bad. So uh, I would add this one in definitely if you use any of those products. Um, and even if you didn't, possibly to donate, if it was inside that kind of that price range for you that you're willing to donate items, it's a good price. Uh, oh, and this is just to zoom in on the downy. Um, oh, and Paige is throwing out a good tip. So let me back up Paige. Um, Paige is saying if she remembers correctly, and yes, so you'll see these little sample packets for Nexus, and I think um, possibly that's what this little yellow tag is right there, uh, that if they are included in her store, they used to be a buck ninety-nine. So you could grab one bottle and one sample packet, and then you would be right at that, like, 21 bucks um, for the deal, uh, $21.99. You'd only be able to use one $5 off coupon. The $5 off coupon does exclude trial sizes, but it gets you to the threshold that you needed to earn the 10,000 without having to go way over on a second bottle. So thank you, Paige, for um, that tip. Okay, let's talk just some sales. Toys, uh, we see them run this as we get closer to the holiday season too, but they're starting to kind of stock in all their holiday toys. You'll actually notice if you look at the fine print here, uh, this sale is gonna be running until Christmas day. Buy two, get one free. Come Christmas, we actually see this go a little bit better, but if you are looking for just some cheap toys, this could be a great place to look. Um, you know, like last minute, we need a birthday present. Have, grabbing a couple of them at this price. They're not bad items and they are pretty inexpensive. So just to mention that they're there, I took a few pictures just to give you some ideas uh, of what you might want to grab. Uh, original Gummy Fun Mix. I've actually never heard of this, but Sunday, this was a new printable. So we have a 50 cent printable for this particular type of gummy candy. And in Walgreens, just the normal buy more, save more price is two for $3. So if you grab two of those 50 cent printables, you're gonna get them for a dollar a piece. Just kind of mentioning it. Uh, I did not find, my Target didn't sell them. I haven't seen them in any other stores, but it is a new printable coupon out. So if you wanted to grab the printable and you just wanted to know where to use it, you can head to Walgreens and get them for a buck, just as an idea. And here's your personal deal. Uh, so I mentioned it already, but um, for anyone that needs personal, uh, Persil this week is $4.99 uh, for the 40 ounce or the 16 count. There is a $2 digital, but we also have a $2 insert. So you can grab more than one if you wanted to. You're going to pay $2.99. There's no rewards here. It's just a sale, but it's a pretty decent price if you love Persil. Um, I always mention this one. It's back on sale this week. Buy one, get two free on all of their storage bags and freezer bags. Makes them 93 cents a piece. Also, check your for you only digital offers. They're trying, Walgreens is trying to keep up with CVS. 
Because I purchase this one so often, I actually have a for you only offer on all complete home products for, I think it was a $2 off um, my next purchase of $5 or more of complete home products, which would mean that I would need to buy six boxes, um, but I'm basically gonna get all six of them for the price of one. So not bad uh, if you've got one of those for you only. I've had a 50 cent offer as well, so it's at least worth looking into to see if you have uh, a store coupon or a thank you uh, offer or for you only. Uh, just to show you what I'm talking about here, if we come back and we click on available, you'll see the thank you or only for yous. They're always at the top with these blue circles around them. So it's just looking through what's in your account and they do differ for every single person. Uh, but some of them are based on what you purchased. A lot of them are not because they are not things I've ever purchased in Walgreens before. But hopefully uh, you'll have that one. I mentioned this one last week, but I didn't have a picture. <clears throat> so this, this deal is a month long deal, but it ends this week. We do have $1 and 50 cent coupons on um, equal. And this guy in particular, uh, it becomes free. So just, you know, throw that out there. If you wanted to grab some equal, uh, you're not allowed to use a coupon on the one that is free. So you're gonna use your $1 and 50 cent coupon. And we have a 50 cent Ibotta. Uh, and you can actually submit that one more than once. So you're going to grab two of the equal saccharins, use your $1.50 coupon. You're going to pay 49 cents in the store for both of them and then submit for Ibotta and got, you just got both of those boxes completely free. The original equal is not buy one, get one at $1.99. So make sure you're grabbing the equal saccharin um, to get the money maker back. Um, and then Dunkin' Donuts, we just got coupons for Dunkin' Donuts in the Sunday paper as well for $1 off. So it's going to make the K-Cup boxes $5.99. We see this price in a lot of stores so when it's on sale. So don't feel like you have to go to Walgreens just for this one. But just to mention it, it is a, a you've kind of hit a buy price at that point after the $1 off coupon. So if you wanted to grab it, this is a good time too and a good way to use your um, $1 off coupon. And I think... Oh, I forgot the gift card deal. I thought that was the last one. There is a Walgreens gift card deal this week as well. It's a, I don't want to tell you wrong. So, um, where do you go? Um, okay, it's a $10 Walgreens gift card when you buy two Hulu, Macy's, or Spa Finder gift cards. Um, so this one, Hulu, the cheapest one you'll find is a $25 gift card. Macy's in my store was one that was variable. So you could load it with what you wanted. Uh, let's say you loaded it as two $15 offers for Macy's, then you would be spending 30, but you're gonna get back a $10 Walgreens gift card. So it's a pretty good deal. If you're already paying for Hulu, this is still a great way to save 20%. You're gonna buy two $25 gift cards, get back a $10 gift card. One big warning for Walgreens gift card deals. When you go to checkout, you need to have a Walgreens gift card with you. So you're gonna grab the two gift cards that you plan on getting for the promotion, but also from the gift card rack, grab a Walgreens gift card as well. So you will purchase the two Hulus, then the Walgreens gift card will scan and it will then trigger to load it with $10. But if you do not purchase the Walgreens gift card with it, it doesn't trigger anything. And you're gonna walk out the door going, wait, where's my gift card? So just to warn you, you have to check out with all three. It is not, like, it's just not intuitive. It doesn't say that you need to do that anywhere. It's just trial and error. So learn from my experience, have that Walgreens gift card with you whenever you are going to do a Walgreens gift card deal, um, this week being Hulu or Macy's, other weeks we see them be other gift cards. Just always grab the Walgreens gift card with it. Um, and um, Lynn, I, I agree. So Lynn is commenting, the new Walgreens app does not seem very coupon uh, and user friendly. It is not. Uh, They've made a lot of changes to the Walgreens app where normally I would always say like, oh, just scan the barcodes. You can scan the barcodes. Thankfully, it does not auto load the coupon when you scan the barcodes, uh, just to warrant the, like, it, like it was, but it's kind of impossible to then figure out where we're headed there or to find uh, offers quickly. They've really 
uh, in a sense, kind of messed up what they had trying to make it look fancy. Um, so I'm with you 100% on the new Walgreens one. Um, and Paige is saying, if you have Hulu automatically taken out of your account each month, can you still use a gift card and take advantage? So what you can do, Paige, this is what we used to do with our Netflix account. We don't have Netflix anymore. Um, but we would grab gift card deals and you just log into your account and you load them in your account. So you still have your payment plan as what's there, but you're basically like putting a credit onto your account. And I would assume that Hulu is the same way. Um, I do not, we technically have Hulu. It is actually through Verizon now. So anyone that has Verizon, just a heads up, call Verizon because they just updated all of their plans. And odds are you can just, you'll basically just switch. Won't be a change to you in terms of your monthly cost. It wasn't for us. Um, but the new plan where it was just free Disney Plus, uh, now it is free Disney Plus, free Hulu, and free ESPN Plus. Um, for certain Verizon plans. So for me, I have Hulu, but I don't need a gift card for it. So I can't actually tell you what it looks like when you log in. But Paige, before you go and purchase the deal, log into your Hulu account, go into your account and just see if you can find somewhere that you could load a gift card because you can in Netflix. And I would assume that you could do the same thing for Hulu. Okay, uh, and Homestead and Crazy, Kelly, so the next time that uh, Netflix comes around, we tend to see Netflix once a month, and then we tend to see Hulu and the other guys once a month. Um, so we just saw Netflix, I want to say it was two weeks ago, so it'll probably be another two weeks, week and a half, until we see it again for Netflix, but it is pretty much regularly once a month. As we get closer to Christmas, gift card deals are going to change up. They're not going to be for streaming providers. They're going to be for local retail uh, and for restaurants because their thinking is that you would just want to give the gift cards as a gift. Um, so if you are looking for deals on streaming providers, you want to go ahead and grab them now because that will switch. People don't give Netflix gift cards for Christmas very often. Uh, and we won't see that one on the list for most of November and December, just to kind of give you that warning. Okay. Um, oh yeah. So Bobby's saying, can I show you how to scan on the app? So I don't, if you're talking, um, uh, I'm guessing the Walgreens app, as I was talking about scanning products on their app, um, I can. So I don't have this hooked up. I didn't bring over the cord. It hasn't been happy lately anyway. Uh, but basically if you wanted to scan for a product, uh, usually you hit, yeah, that worked. Okay. So you've got the magnifying glass in the corner. So you hit your magnifying glass and then it pulls up a search box, but do you see in the corner of that search box, a barcode symbol? So I wanna click on the barcode symbol and that brings up the barcode scanner. And then I could scan my Nexus here. Um, I brought it over in case I wanted to hold it up and it will pull up Nexus. So this is where the app just got totally not coupon friendly. Um, is now it's brought up Nexus as if I wanted to purchase it. But if you're in the store, why would I want to purchase it online? I wouldn't. Um, but if I want to find the coupons, they're now right here under coupons. You have to click view and it'll pop you down to the bottom. And then I can see all of the current Nexus coupons that are available to load to my card and the fact that I'll get points, which is great. Um, but it's just not quite the way that it used to be. And that is how barcode scanners, um, Bobby, work in pretty much all of the apps, even in Ibotta. So if you were using Ibotta, you would do the same exact thing, that barcode, you see that little barcode symbol at the top of that search bar, you just click that barcode symbol, and once you do that, it pulls up the barcode scanner. Uh, and then you're happy to just start scanning. So this is my Tresemme, scanning my bottle of Tresemme, and it pulls up the Tresemme. So that's how you're gonna use it. Hopefully that helps. Um, let's see. So Stacey said, I tried for the next Netflix deal the last time you shared it and the deal did not have a sign at the store and I did not get a free Walgreens gift card. So if that happens, Stacy, the next time, what you wanna do is grab the weekly ad um, and get them to pull that up and look at the weekly ad. The, the store manager will see the deal and then will make the gift card work. I have had that happen, not the most recent Netflix deal, but I have had it happen for Walgreens gift card deals in the past. And just to warn you, their gift card deals, when you're looking in the ad, are usually on the inside, yep, of the back page. So um, 
I just pulled up, this is the current Walgreens ad and I just went flipping. So this is the inside of the back page and this is where that current deal is. So yeah, my store didn't have a single tag on it this week either. I don't know that I've really ever seen a tag on the Walgreens gift card section, um, but all they're gonna need to do is verify, yep, it's right there, free $10 when you buy two. And it says any two, it does not have a value there. So when they are deals that you can completely load, um, then you should. You should grab two $15 off cards. You should be good to go and get your $10 Walgreens gift card. I was hoping if I clicked on that, that we'd be able to zoom in. Um, but the Macy's in the top right here does show kind of a variable price on it. So that would be the cheaper option over Hulu. Um, but just showing them the ad, they can fix it and they can give you that gift card. So you just kind of, you have to catch it. But you do want to take the gift card with you so that hopefully if it does work all by itself, um, you'll have the gift card and you won't miss that part. Okay. Um, oh, and Rochelle, did I miss your comment? I'm sorry. It's hard for me. Um, I'm, I'm scrolling back. Uh, okay. So at CVS, you have a 10 off 30 in Nexus, a $3 off one on Nexus, and a three off 18 in hair care. Could I tell you how to do the best scenario? Okay, um, so the three off 18 in hair care and the 10 off 30 in Nexus to go back to CVS prices. Let me jump out and pull up. Um, here's our CVS picture. So just Nexus. To be able to use both of those, a 10 off 30 on Nexus and a three off 18 in hair care, potentially they would work great together automatically but possibly they wouldn't. So what will happen is it depends on um, which coupon the computer takes off first and you have no way of knowing. So if the computer took off the three off 18 and you had purchased just right at 30 bucks, um, you wouldn't be able to use the 10 off 30 because then when it got to the 10 off 30, it would be like, well, you didn't buy $30 in Nexus. You did, but it took off the other coupon first. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that I have purchased $33 in Nexus, which I think you'll be good on. So what you want to do is you want to grab two of these $16.49 bottles, really any of the shampoos. That's what they were in my store. Keep in mind, they could be a little bit different in yours. But in my store, it would be two at $16.49 a piece. That is going to come out to uh, basically $32.99 a piece. You know, we're kind of a penny short on possibly being, you know, uh, working beautifully, but we're going to hope that that is enough, um, that the coupons are going to come off in the right order. The goal would be that you've bought 33, your three off, in case your three off 18 came off first, because you don't know. So your three off 18 comes off, then your 10 off 30 comes off and you're good. You were able to use them both. Um, now I had a, a, a Nexus store coupon as well, and it did not apply when I used my four off 18 in hair care and my Nexus manufacturer. So just to warn you that if you have a $3 off store Nexus and you use those manufacturers, there's the potential that it is not also going to apply. But you're gonna grab two at $16.49, use $10 worth of manufacturer's coupons from Sunday's paper, use $13 worth of store coupons, hopefully if they both apply, um, so in the end, you've just used $23 worth of coupons on a $33 purchase, and you're going to get back a $10 reward. So you're going to end up hopefully walking out the door, Rochelle, with both of them completely free. If the other hair care coupon did not apply, then you're still going to walk out the door paying $1.50 for both of them when you use your Nexus coupon and your, your manufacturer. So still a great deal even if that three off 18 does not stack with the 10 off 30, but buying $33 worth should be your magical moment in a sense uh, to be able to make both of those coupons stack. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and yes, my stores do follow the 98% rule. So you could, if you found a uh, Nexus deal that was $15.99, you would be, you, I'm sorry, $19.99, you'd be fine. My store didn't have anything that was around that price. They had $14.99 products. They had $16.50. Um, but if you were you know, going for, let's say, the gift card deal and you bought $24.99, great. You're still going to get the $10 gift card. 
Uh, so you do not have to be dead on with reward deals at CVS. You do in Walgreens. So when I mentioned that Nexus and that they're $19.99, you better find that trial size that Paige was mentioning. Um, but in CVS, you don't have to do that, which is pretty sweet. Okay, uh, Paige, last question here. Um, would it be better to get the renews it's in CVS or Walgreens? They're, I, they're honestly identical, Paige, um, as to which one's going to come out to be the, the better price. Wherever you happen to be shopping this week is where I would go on the renews it deal. Um, it's not going to be, a, it might be like a penny different between both stores, but they're pretty much the same price. Okay. Uh, well, we'll stop there. We went a little long and I started late today, but hopefully this helps you guys see all of the deals, everything that I mentioned. If you head to southernsavers.com, you can make your shopping list. All the coupons are right there. You can head to the store and grab the deals. They're all good through Saturday night. And a last reminder for you, all of the month long deals in Walgreens, they end this week. This is the end of the month. So if you've been holding out or ignoring that month long section on the Walgreens list, you need to look at it this week because uh, they're all going to go away and we'll have new deals next week. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me guys and take care. I will talk to you again next Monday night on our Q and A, or if I pop in and find other deals, I guess I'll surprise you. So have a great week until I talk to you again soon.